What's going on guys, this is Neil Bauman here with Parrot Key. These are some tips on mastering mobile. What we're gonna try to do here today and uh, really in the future is create that source for people to go and learn how to use Xactimate Mobile in the field. Um, I myself, uh, I use the software and in every single inspection I do I, from start to finish. I'm in a room and by the time, about five minutes afterwards, six, seven minutes later, um, the whole room is estimated, inspected, photographed, and I'm done. I'm moving on to it. So what I want to do is show you guys how we do this process because as you guys know, um, technology is only getting stronger out here. This is only going to be a more relevant thing as time goes on. So. When you go on YouTube, there's really nothing on Xactimate Mobile. Um, we couldn't find anything. I just got back from NACA. Um, those of you that are adjusters know about NACA. It's in Vegas, and um, that's where we're at. These are going to be tips on figuring out mobile, mastering mobile, um, just maximizing your time. When you get home, we all know we have to write estimates all night. This eliminates that. So we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process. It's going to be six videos. It's going to be the setup tools of the trade, roof, elevations, interior, and then the button up outro. Basically just how photo labeling, who we are, what we're trying to do, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first uh, part of this whole process is setting up the file. This is huge, huge. When you're gonna show up to the house, you have to have that file created with the estimating tree, all that. I'm talking about dwelling roof, all your folders. So it makes it easier to estimate when you're on site. If you don't have the file set up, you're going to go into the Xactimate file on your pad. Nothing's there for you. Uh, I'm talking about getting the, the Eagle View, whatever service you use. But the roof sketch, I upload that prior. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that now. So, so basically, you go into Xactimate here, we're doing new projects. One of these screens, usually I'll have um, the information for you know the client, the customer, whatever you're doing. I don't know if you're in construction, if you're an adjuster, you're working for attorney, uh, PAs, whatever it is. So you just want to create the file name. So we'll do a test here. Um, carriers what I operate out of. Create. Uh, we're gonna pick our price list. We live out here in sunny Florida, so that is what I'm going to pick. Fort Myers area. So again, running through the basic startup. I'm not going to show you guys how to do all this because you know you got to do this. You should know how to do this. If not, there are actually very helpful videos on this type of stuff. It just stops at uh, mobile, and I know that will change someday. But we want to be a part of the change. We're gonna we're gonna start it off on our own. So for those of you that use Eagle View, you can upload the Eagle View directly to the file, but you need the claim number there. You need to basically get a hold. There's a couple ways of doing the, uh, getting the roof sketch uploaded. Um, you know, if you use Hover, that's on site, which I don't recommend Hover only because you can't set the file up prior. I recommend, you know, Eagle View, ACT, uh, RouteX is a good one, but they need a claim number for it to work uh, for the Eagle View route. Basically, you want to call Eagle View, let them know to link your Xactimate account to them, and then you can just rip down the Eagle View uh, sketch right into the file and get it ready. So, claim number needs to be there. Usually, I just put the address, whatever it is. Price is all set. Header is all set. So, so, what you want to do is come into the sketch here, or the estimate items, and you want to create your exact your tree. Your estimating tree is huge. Make sure to click the continuous add. A lot of people don't know about that. Dwelling, elevations, and once you get this created once, um, there's actually videos where you can find this. You can copy your estimating tree from each uh, file at the start of it and import it into the new one. So you don't have to do this every time, but it's so quick for me that I don't really care. You could just see as I start to type front, it, it comes in, it populates front elevation. So front, right, rear, left. Now I do other structures. Uh, general, something I throw in there, uh, debris removal, uh, do, 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 uh, interior, if there's no interior damage, you know, then I'll just like add my, uh, uh, photos and stuff like that to that. So that's there. Now for the sketch, for this, it's just ease of use right now, I'm not going to show you guys all this, but I'll, you'll import the Eagle view, but you want to get that roof ready prior to show them, just bear, act like I, you know, I got this off of 
you know, I got this off from Eagle View. I imported it. Um, pretty basic groove. Uh, yeah, it's actually, let me change this. Type. Oh, why that's so big? Hit, just so we can have some uh, different things in there. All right, cool. So we got that in. Now, make double check that it's all set. Cool. So now basically you want to upload this to the cloud. You got your file or set up and ready. Now when you pull up to the site, it is ready to go. And I do this every single night before each job. If I got six jobs the next day, I'm setting up six of these to before I go. Then I would save and exit. Wait until that syncs up. Click on it once, send it to the cloud. Now I'm ready for the next day. So then I can easily go onto my iPad. I'll usually do this too. Um, before I head out for the day, I will go and um, I'll grab my iPad, I'll rip it down from the cloud, and I get it all set up on here and get it ready. So when I go in the morning and when I pull up to my job, it's there, it's already ready. I'll even, before I leave in the morning, open each file and have it open and have it downloaded, just as in case, you know, like Hurricane Ian, there was no service out there. So you wanna have everything ready and there so you're not relying on any service. Uh, but that's it for the first step. That's the first step to this process. Um, the next videos will be filed. Keep watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Any business inquiries, questions, or support needed, please reach out to the email listed below.